No one who comes close to God can remain in darkness, for God is light. Blessed First Sunday of February, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Sister Luci Pagalay of the Daughters of St. Paul, bringing to you today's reflection from the Gospel Power. Once, while Jesus was standing behind the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down my nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats, so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The revelation of the divine is at the same time a revelation of the human. This has been the experience of both Isaiah and Peter. The vision of God in the temple makes Isaiah keenly aware of being a man of an unclean lips. The miraculous catch of fish that reveals the divinity of Jesus awakens in Peter a deep sense of being a sinner. They begin to see their interior state, for an encounter with God is an encounter with revelatory light. No one who comes close to God can remain in darkness, for God is light. In the Old Testament, especially Exodus, God is revealed to Moses as fire out of a bush, to the Israelites as lightning on the mountain, and as a pillar of fire to guide their journey in the desert by night. In the Gospel of John, Jesus reveals himself as the light of the world. To both Isaiah and Peter, the divine response to their discovery of their human vulnerability is compassionate acceptance and a missionary mandate. Lord Jesus, our human weakness does not disqualify us from participating in your mission, but becomes the place of operation of your grace in us. Amen.